we present video to StyleGAN, a video editing framework capable of generating videos from a single image. Our framework can take a driving video and transfer its global and local information to a reference image. Here we show some of the results of our method. The first column represents a driving frame. The second column represents a co-driving frame. The third column represents the reference image and the last column represents our results. We are able to extract local expressions and information from driving frame and rotation and translation from a co-driving frame. These edits are then transferred to a reference image. Notice the quality of identity preservation and the transfer of edits. First, we show results of canonicalization, that is, rotation and translation encoding. Here, we show a driving frame and reference images. The reference images are transformed according to the driving frame. Next, we show results of global pose encoding. Here, we first show a driving frame. The next column is the reference image. The next column is the restyle projection. The next column represents a naive method. The column right to the naive method are our results without PTI. And finally, we show our results with PTI. Notice the pose is transferred from a driving frame to a given reference image. Next, in order to show that the S space of StyleGAN3 holds the local edits, we designed a UI to edit eyes, mouth and nose. Here, we show some eye edits. Next, we show some mouth edits. Next, we show some nose edits. Now we show fine grain control achieved by our video to style GAN method on some reference images. Here we show a reference image and a driving frame. First we do the local edits using the local facial feature encoding. Next to show that the edits are rotation and translation invariant, we apply the translation transformation. Now we add our modified baseline. Notice how the motion is encoded. Finally, to show that the final results are invariant to rotation and translation, we apply a translation operation to the Fourier features. Notice the quality of identity preservation. Next, we compare with the baseline method. Notice here in the baseline method, the identity of the person is compromised. Additionally, this method introduces some additional artifacts. In comparison, our results are coherent, identity preserving, and are able to transfer edits from a driving frame. Notice the quality of identity preservation. Next, we show our method video to style can on real images. Notice in case of real images as well, our results are better. Here is another example. In order to show that our method can transfer local and global information from a person with different pose to that of a reference image, we show these results. Here, as you can see, our method produces plausible results even though the pose of the reference image is different from that of the driving frame.
Thank you for watching.